If you're an older guy in the dating world, in this video, I wanna give you one simple tip that will get you more attention from women, make you more attractive to women, and even have younger women choosing you from a crowd and chasing you. Hi, I'm Bobby Rio, and over the past few years, more and more of my clients are guys in their 40s, their 50s, their 60s. And when they get into the dating world, a lot of times they're coming out of a, a long relationship or, or they're, they're coming out of a divorce, and they go back out and maybe they're going out to you know, social events or a lot of times they're on dating sites or dating apps, and they're not getting the attention from the type of girls they want, which a lot of times happens to be women um, younger than them. And when I review their profiles, a lot of things that I do with them is I say, well, you know, give me an idea of who you are. Um, and I often look through their, their dating profiles to kind of critique their pictures and kind of see if I can pinpoint what's going on. And what I often find is as I'm looking through their stuff, I'm just like, you are presenting yourself as generic old dude, right? And no younger woman is on a dating app going, I want generic old dude. When a woman's out with her friends at you know a bar or a lounge having drinks and generic old dude comes over, there's nothing exciting about that. She doesn't go, oh my God, you know? But what I also tell them is that Women, especially younger women, are instinctively attracted to older men. And they think there's a disconnect there. They're like, well, you're telling me not to be generic old dude, but then you're telling me women are attracted to older men. And what I then go on to explain to them is that you have to fit into a sexy stereotype, meaning there is certain types of men, older men, that women are drawn to. They've been drawn to these men for hundreds of years. It's programmed into them in uh, movies and TV shows, in the books that they read, that certain type of older men signify being sexy. And what I explain to my clients is that what you wanna do is you wanna encapsulate one of these, I call them older guy sexy stereotypes. You wanna figure out which one you fit into and then you want to be that person, right? Meaning you wanna create a movie trailer version of your life so that when a woman is scrolling through a dating site or you know flipping through tinder and she sees your profile you signify sexiness right so as men the easiest way that i can kind of explain this is if you know for, for guys if we see a woman in um you know a, a nurse's outfit or a cheerleader's outfit or something like that right that's like a sexy outfit that is associated with it right that that, that type of woman um for women, it's completely different, right? There's roles and, 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 and types of guys that women are attracted to. So when they're scrolling through and they see one of these, they stop and they look because you fit into that sexy stereotype. So I want to go through, uh, I want to go through six ones that I usually um, tell my clients about, right? And when I say that, when, when I give these, it's not just about dressing this way, although dressing and sort of crafting your image around one of these is important, but it's also about everything, right? If you have pictures up on a social media site or a dating app or you know a, a, an online dating site, you wanna, like I said, you wanna create a movie trailer. So you wanna sort of paint this picture of this is the guy that I am, and that is sort of like a, a bat signal for all the women out there that are attracted to that type of guy. So as I go through them, I want you to think which one would uh, you likely fit into? Which one would be the easiest one for you to fit into? So the uh, first older guy sexy stereotype is the professor. All right. Um, I'm also gonna call this the intellectual, right? So we have professor slash intellectual. And this is the guy that, I mean, we all have seen and heard the stories of the middle-aged college professor, the 60-year-old college professor who's sleeping one of his hot 22-year-old um, you know, students. And the reason this is is because that's kind of ingrained in a certain type of girl, right? They look up to that, that, that figure, right? That, that professor, that intellectual, that that they can learn things from, right? A certain 
type of girl fits into that. Not all girls, but there's a girls that that's what they're drawn to, that older guy who can show them the world, tell them interesting things. Um, an example of a guy like that would be Jordan Peterson. If you don't know him, um, I'll put a picture of him here. He's a kind of a, you know, he's an author of books, sort of a, a modern day philosopher type type of guy. And, and you'll see that the way he presents himself crafts into that stereotype of being the intellectual, being the professor. And I guarantee that there's a lot of younger women out there that find him attractive, even though he is in his, I think he's probably in his late 50s, early 60s. Um, and if that kind of fits you, right? If, if that kind of, you see yourself as that, then what you wanna do, I always say is, you wanna take a natural bit of how you are and you kinda of wanna put that on steroids, meaning amplify that. So if you're a little bit of the intellectual um, professor type, amplify it. Find out what the, 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 the dress type of that kind of guy is. You know, what, what would he be doing? What would a picture of that guy being, you know, maybe on his social media picture, it'd be a picture of him giving a lecture, him sitting in a coffee shop in Paris reading a book, right? Because there's gonna be women that when they're scrolling through, like that's what they're attracted to. They're not attracted to the random old dude, you know, posing in front of the Eiffel Tower, all kind of awkward and stuff. They want the image, they want the movie trailer. So number two is guru, right? Um, the older guru, this could be a spiritual guru, this could be a health guru, a yoga guru. Um, it's, it's essentially, the the older guy who's kind of into you know very passionate about something um a lot of times it happens to be something like spirituality or something like that and what's great about these right the professor the guru is a lot of older guys think oh, i need to be rich you need to have money but the reality is no you you, you don't if because there's older gurus that live, you know, they live in like a 900 square foot, I know one of them, right? This, this guy, he lives in a 900 square foot apartment. You know, it's kind of near the beach, but it's not an expensive apartment. He spends his days, you know, doing yoga, and he's always got young women around because there's a lot of young women that are attracted to that, right? That, that guru figure in their life. And I mean, you see it all the time, these cult leaders and stuff like that who have swarms of these women. Um, now, I'm not recommending you be a cult leader or anything like that. I'm just saying that amplifying that guru tendency that you might already have. If you're into spirituality, if you're into things like yoga and meditation, bring that to the forefront. Um, embrace it a little bit more, but also craft your image around it more, more than, than you normally would, right? So maybe, maybe you're a guy and you dress like me and you kind of just dress like a normal guy, um, but you're really into spirituality. Maybe start switching a little bit, right? Maybe take some cues and look and see and be like, you know, wear some, you know, bracelets and add some type of stuff, you know, go online and kind of look and see because again, a woman scrolling through a media site sees that guy, it's a stereotype of a certain lot, a certain girls out there are gonna be attracted to that. Um, the next one is probably the one that most guys assume is the one, the stereotype that women are attracted to, and that's Wall Street guy, right? This is the guy who dresses in, uh, you know, a suit, a sharp suit. He's got the nice car. He's got the nice watch, um, and you know, this is the one. A lot of guys, say, well, you need money for that, but you don't need as much money as you think, right? This is this is. This is kind of one of the things I always say to older guys. Like, well, how much money do you think you need? A lot of guys are like, you need money. I'm like, well, how much? G give me a number. What, what do you think it takes to attract a younger woman? How much money do you need to make? Because the reality is most guys assume they need to be making millions and millions of dollars to kind of be that guy. But the reality is you don't, right? You don't. You don't need to be making millions of dollars. It's, it, you're competing against, you know, 25-year-old guys who are making, you know, they're working at, as, as waiters, you know? So, um, if Wall Street guy fits your thing, start dressing the part, right? Not just when you go, to, don't just wear a suit to work, wear it more. Be the guy that shows up to the lounge sharply dressed. Um, your social media profile, what would the guy on Wall Street's social media profile look like? Well, craft yours to look like that and embrace that character a bit more. So let's continue along and, and let, let me give you a few more that I recommend. Um, 
By the way, if you are an older guy and you are find yourself more attracted to younger women, I do a class with my friend Hank. He's in his uh, late 50s, and he's sort of the epitome of, 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 of these stereotypes. And we teach how to use your age as an advantage, right? Because here I'm talking a little bit about your image that you're presenting. What Hank will get into in this course, and I'll leave a link below, it's completely free. He talks about your attitude, the way you talk to women, and all the subtle things you can do to position yourself as the prize to a younger woman. Um, but I'm gonna give you a few more of these uh, stereotypes. So the next one we have is the, um, the you know, I call it like the mafia politician, and that's essentially the power position, right? It doesn't, you know, I, I always say the politician or, 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 or the Tony Soprano type guy, um, because there's always gonna be, like I said, there's always gonna be that certain subtype of woman that they like that powerful older man in a position that gets him respect, right? The mayor of the town who, who's kind of got his hands in a lot of different things, um, Tony Soprano type character. Again, I'm not recommending you <laughs> necessarily run for office or you join the mafia, but I'm saying embrace that style, that character. And when you're presenting um, a social media, if that's you, right? If it's not you, choose one of the other ones. But if you tend to identify with that type of guy, well then design your, um, you know, your social media around that, right? What would pictures of, of a politician have and, you know, him, kind of always wheeling and dealing and, and, and being out places, right? That's gonna attract a certain type of woman. Um, next, we have the aging artist. Um, the aging artist is, you know, an aging musician, the, the aging poet, right? The aging actual artist who paints pictures. There's always women that are gonna be attracted to that guy, right? Um, the Charles Bukowski type of type of guy, or you know, even just the guy who, who who's who's really passionate about music and, and plays plays music, or is into you know writing. You know, the art like the the author. Um, if you fit into that realm, and you even if it's just a little bit, right? Even if you just enjoy painting on the side, but but you would want to get into it more, right? Because a lot of this you don't want to fake something. It's got to be a natural part of you that you bring to the surface more, and you project it out into the dating world more. But if that's you, then, then embrace that, right? Embrace that aging artist, dress like an aging artist. We talk about not needing money. The aging artist is often poor, but he often cleans up with women because of the aura he has around him. And there's always gonna be women that are after that type of guy. The last one is the engaged dad. This is one that a lot of guys don't, 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 don't fully appreciate, but younger women find themselves really attracted to a dad who is involved, right? It's not just a matter of posting a picture of your kid. It's the dad that they see as like the coach on the team, right? The dad that they see out, you know, working with his son out on a, you know, whatever it is, right? Like that's attractive to them. I've had so Many, I can't even tell you how many female friends of mine tell me there's nothing sexier. Like we go to this pool club and they'll tell me there's nothing sexier than watching like the dads like playing with their kids in the pool, right? And a lot of guys, older guys don't, don't think that. They almost think they have to hide that aspect of them. Like, oh, I'm a dad. I don't want them to know that. Um, and, and listen, you don't want to ever use your kids as props. You know, I'm not telling you to kind of prop them out and, and hey, I'm a dad. But don't hide it, right? Embrace it. And if that's who you are, project that out there, right? Your social media can be that, right? There can be pictures of you, you know, coaching the, 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 your, kids, your kids little league game, or if your kids are a little older now, maybe it's you at their graduation, you know, your arm around them all happy, because there's always gonna be women that are attracted to that. Now, maybe there's a part of that that's like the sort of the, um, the, the girl who wants to kind of steal the married guy away from his happy family. I'm sure, I'm sure that plays into it. You know, the, the show, the affair on Showtime, that was a good example of, right? The guy with the, you know, he shows up at the, the diner and, and the, and the waitress sees him with his family and she kind of falls for him. Um, but that's real. I've heard it from so many women. Um, so if that's you embrace it. Now, like I said, um, 
These stereotypes are a way to project sort of a movie trailer version of yourself out to the world. But when you're actually talking to women, especially younger women, you need to know how to talk from a position of power, a position of status, how to lean back and have a younger woman putting in the effort and chasing you. And I wanna teach you that in a free class that I do. Um, there's several uh, options to choose from. We do it a few times a week. It's my friend Hank. It's called How to Turn Your Age into the ultimate advantage with women. And we walk you through the steps, because like I said, I've been coaching guys now for 12 years, and over the past four or five years, um, more and more guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s have been hiring me, and I've often gone to Hank to get his perspective, because he is in his 50s, and is, probably does better with women than, than any younger guy I know, and he's not rich or anything like that. Um, and he tells you what he does, he tells you, exactly what appeals to a woman who's after an older guy. So if you're interested in that, click the link. It's called How to Turn Your Age into the Ultimate Advantage with Women. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to see me cover in the next video.